Of course, last night was the ABC News interview with former FBI director James Comey, where he promoted his new book, A Higher Loyalty. But before the interview, Trump got on Twitter yesterday morning and called Comey a liar and attacked his reputation. So congratulations to Donald Trump for sending Comey's book straight to number one. <laughs> it was... The interview was pretty interesting. Take a look at what Comey said when he was asked about meeting with Trump days after the election and their discussion of the alleged Russian pee tape. I did not go into the business about um, people peeing on each other. And he interrupted, started talking about it. You know, do I look like a guy who needs hookers? Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, Mr. President, you look exactly like the kind of guy who needs hookers. The reason hookers get into business is rich guys who look like you. <laughs> the, the J in Donald J. Trump actually stands for John. <laughs> and... <laughs> Later in the interview, James Comey described why he feels Trump is unfit to be president. Take a look. I don't buy the stuff about him being mentally incompetent or early stages of dementia. He strikes me as a person of above average intelligence who's tracking conversations and knows what's going on. I don't think he's medically unfit to be president. I think he's morally unfit to be president. Of course he's morally unfit. Donald Trump is morally unfit to manage an outback steakhouse. <laughs> he's saying is actually pretty nice. He's saying, I don't think he has brain damage. I just think he's a terrible person. <laughs> um, during the interview, Comey described Trump as a, as a stain on everyone who worked for him. And it's true, because when Trump hugged Comey last year, he left him with a stain that he still can't get off. <laughs> we have to tell you about this. Samsung has just launched a new phone marketed to students to avoid distraction and focus on studying. The phone deliberately has no ability to connect to the internet. Ow! Yeah, yeah, they've developed this. <laughs> this is something they've developed. It's a flip phone. It's a flip phone that can't even flip. <laughs> I guess this could be a good idea if you don't want to be distracted. If you want to make extra sure that you can't connect to the internet, sign up for T-Mobile. <laughs> and finally, here in Los Angeles, the police department recently confiscated $700,000 worth of counterfeit makeup that was later determined, and we're not joking here, to contain human feces. Ah. People suspected there might be feces in the makeup, but they were like, it says blue eyeshadow. It keeps making my eyes pink. <laughs> yeah. If you look. <sighs> if you look closely, there were some signs that it gave uh, that it gave away that the makeup was contaminated. This was one of their most popular brands. Chanel number two. 